Social update UG a kakati no NUPMPs defy Bob Wine on shillings 40 million handshake a chisa ba parliament a kade ya national unity platform baje mede Bob Wine on songa ya obu kade ya makumia na ezawa wewe dua on songa ezo kwele nga basaini nga obanga bate kwa mkono kwa ya supplementary budget e ya labi obu umbi insamvu 70 billion Ugandan shillings Gazos Ganamus set out Sioka, Yuki Antino, by M. Pizzo Nabona, by we would do all had the Anna, Ninga Chiros of one Nava, and I remember the Bob Nyok said a singer woke or together. A Gono Game Old Galiwo, which we nature NUP, which we nature NUP, Jurum Seven Yagama Antino, a Jacuza much we nature NUP picture natural. A Vajuki of Vunum Seven Yagamba, a Chimacha NUP picture natural, a Jacu Zam Kagatino. Yevidi mugenda maso mchivu nacha NUP, nguzi fusi nguzi, kaka tu katolewa nisonge na bulunge. Opposition leader Robert Chagulani, aka Bob Wine, faces the biggest test of his leadership after members of his NUP party in Parliament slammed calls to return the shillings for the million handshake. Wachitegeera, the cash bo chono kusoko kuvuda ngomani yanti no, the cash bo nanza saga started on Saturday last week with all MPs receiving shillings for the million from the president's office at parliament. The money was, according to sources, a token of appreciation for passing a supplementary budget. Sha, mu Uganda yaba yebaza M P ba mu boka dana nenge diyo musau go na wana watasoma because our source says we mukwe kala kasa. Ne government never yoba ruling party never nega amu it was a token of appreciation. Watch again. Eh, kaka ni nabo bwe na mukwe banga facinga akada kazi bwe nyio. Pichanga wero mukole mbeze kubanga abantu weba M P Z we musewe na kwa mukwe wa sitting abazu tuala. Ne juu kama nabo bwe ni yaba sente ba ino kuziza yamu sawa na mumu na ana. After the 48-hour deadline passed last evening, without any single NUP legislator showing up with the money, the party leadership in Parliament decided to call an emergency caucus meeting today to decide the way forward. Watch together. Uh, Mr. John Baptist Nambeshe, the opposition, the opposition whip in Parliament, who was in charge of receiving the money from party MPs, narrated how he had camped at his office since Tuesday waiting for the MPs, but none, show, none showed up until he left for other businesses. Last evening, Mr. John Baptist Nambeshe, the opposition chief whip in parliament, he was in office for the COVID-19, and he was in the office of the NUP. But he said that he was receiving the principal of Gambia. He was in the office Nenga te wali chidu chona, ngedole umpi ako miyao sete. Paka oyavu deo, nabanga gana na kwa living tuye vila. Unakura jio regulo, even those people from whom we are expecting the money from have not yet showed up. Mr. Nambeshe said, the cash bonanza saga started on, on Saturday last week. While all MPs were given shillings for 10 million from the president's office, which tegeira, uh, on Monday night, the leaders of NUP held a crisis meeting at the Kamacha offices in which Bob Wine gave the MPs an ultimatum of 48 hours to return the controversial cash given to lawmakers for passing over shillings 77 billion supplementary classified budget to the State House. The, N the NUP MPs who talked to one of the news media houses last evening left off the directive and vowed to keep the money. Eh, nozo uli de. Ba MPs ha, ba yoke de kuno papa lomu rama uli de. Boba asisebu silaga manti ya aa. Yino senti tunyo kuwena ngatuzi kuhuma. Other lawmakers admitted receiving the handshake. And at the time, and at the same time challenged Bob Wine to prove that they received the said cash. Which take it. Ba MPs ha, ba yoke de kuno papa lomu rama uli de. Boba asisebu Kani ba ukiramu na ba zuriseve zina yate uba sabi tuwa sente zo kuziza yuko. Na ba kama popo ina vilenga kaka sante ba zifunye. Alitoa ba kaka fobola gani sante ya kuzatia ya zifunye. Some na inakati sente fuse sente. Some MPs who did not want to be named in this story because of the sensitivity of the matter 
asked Bob Wine and other party leaders to do whatever they want and re- and reiterated that they were not ready to return the money because they did not know where to take it in the first place. Eh, but MPs are going to be a big deal. Bagami no gamu no a a mukoweche mukola sfasele diduka na wakatu zokomi yao. The MPs also indicated that they cannot take back the money since they were not even sure whether the cash would end up in the right hands or not. Another legislator from Central Uganda said it was foolhardy for NUP leaders to imagine that MPs would accept to take back the money, yet others are going to enjoy it. MPs about NUP. Mm-hmm. Other legislators indicated that the money would not about the money would go to critical projects in their constituencies and advised Mr. Nambeshe and the principal to stop the drama. Hey, but legislators are Sources close to Kamocha, however, told a newspaper that the defiance of MPs on the cash bonanza was going to be a big problem which would mark the beginning of what they called a fundamental disagreement between Bobwen and the MPs. Together, on Monday 19th, Parliament approved, sh- approved shillings, 618 billion supplementary budget. Details show that 77 was allocated to State House for classified expenditure, while UPDF got also some amount. Uh, our investigations show that members of Parliament's Budget Committee rejected that State House supplementary request when it was first pre- presented, arguing that the intended allocation did not have a vote and it is not needed and it wasn't supposed to be dubbed as classified. You can only test with a supplementary budget. We also go to the MPs, but you go back. Although Mr. Nambesha and other party officials indicated that some NUP members were NUP MPs had admitted receiving the shillings for 10 million. His boss, Mr. Matthias Impoga, the leader of opposition in parliament, told this publication last evening that if any NUP members come out to confess that they have received what he termed as illegal money, the leadership would crack the whip. At the moment, I have not received any more. Should there emerge evidence that any members are complicit, the party disciplinary proceedings shall be preferred on the affected members, said Matthias Impuga. Center Yam Seven, a better Kagumba will go gay. O Jenny over to Jiddy de Kuka, or together. O Jiddy or Jenny ever to cook, or to Jiddy de Kuka, a cat in the Kuroku Vidi, Eda, I want to among Mr. Charles Tevan de K, Mr. Tuaha Kabogo, Kagabo, Mr. Stephen Seruvala, Seruvula, and Mr. and Mrs. Jennifer. Gunyu, Nan to me. I wonder when I have a devil's devoir, or could be an avazer said. Nay, I won't go by about the about two kiddie boy, never two kiddie do a rather. Omi as them nagamant, I'm training. I can't talk to you. Sent a fussy saint. Sent a fussy saint. Sent a fussy saint. A cacatino. You can have no message, ye say. A game was a great. This is a Jewel of Parliament. Iranga, Bidietano, MPs received shillings five million each in order to remove the term limit. But together, Bidietano, a chance of where I wanted by MPs by work at the town of Halida. What was it up to me? Never want to win a vote. In 2011, Parliament wired shillings 20 million to each of the 329 MPs 
in Parliament, 28 days to the general election. A day after the ruling party forced through a controversial supplementary budget of shillings, 602 billion. Together, President Yokovi yaya billion kumi na gumu. Baga mje soka yaya billion tano. Kati yokuza tu incidenti in 2020 MPs took shillings 20 million each from COVID-19 supplementary budget request. Tini mu billion abili ilaba MPs ba tolo kanda abili. Gazo no zaliza COVID-19 supplementary budget request. Chegera, nenga sente yu enfose sente Ya kufuka kagumba wa yugeje ujie yu Takati nino Uwe mbuja chuloza mu comments And don't forget to subscribe And hit that bell button Peace